What are we gonna do today? What kind of fish are we going to catch? I don't know. Trout. Trout. Yeah. Let's see what kind of trout we Tiger catch. trout. Put it in. Okay, now, let it get down to the eyes. Now, if you see your line start moving, if it just jiggles, that means a fish is getting nibbling at it. But if it starts moving, then tighten it up tight. Set up the firebox, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll catch a fish, and we'll cook it up. I almost got one. Again? No. <laughs> I think I'm going to put about four cups of wood pellets in here. Uh, maybe three cups of wood pellets. And I'm going to use some quick stove fuel disc to get it started. I should get just grab some We had one last Tuesday by this time. It's all about patience. We'll melt some snow and then we'll have some water. It's a mighty long pole for ice fishing you got there, Isla. I know, it's the only one I have. You gotten some bites though, huh, Em? Yeah, a bunch. Here we are at No Tellum Lake ice fishing. There's great big monster fish in here and they're really easy to catch. So my girls are having some fun. It was, it was out of the water, but it ended up getting the bait and jumping back in. Water. All right, we caught our first fish. No, put it back in. I want to be the one that gets the same one. Well, Isla just caught her first. What do you think, Isla? Nice one? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fun. Ah! It's going to jump back in the water. Yeah, let's cook now it. Now that's uh... It looks like a brown to me. That might be a brown. I don't know if it's a brown or if it's a brook trout. Brown or a brook. It's let not, it go. It's not very colorful for a brook. Go. Can I put it in? Alright, you better let it go. Can I put it in? You've had it out too long. Well, there no. it goes. Mm -hmm. Here we got another fish. Pull it out! This is like, what, our fourth? Fifteen and a half inches. Ah! Let's look at the color on that thing. It's beautiful. There we go. Yeah, that's a tiger trout. Beautiful fish. Pull it out! Pull it out! Pull it. Oh, Whoa. look at that, baby! Good job! Good job, Woo. Emma! That's a beautiful fish. Put it in! in All right. the tiger, you can see the tiger trout, the markings of a tiger there. Yeah. Come on. There it goes. Let's check our snow, see if it's melted. Yep, it's go, melted. Go, go, what go, you go. got there, Isla? A fish. Whoa, that's a nice one. Woohoo! It's really big. Two pounds, ten I ounces. down his I haven't yeah. been officially taught how to fillet a fish. This is just kind of the, the way I've kind of picked it up. So what are you doing there? I'm just uh, taking off the skin. My knife, I can feel my knife sliding across the bones. And I can... And, uh, can I hear the bones get going through the bones? Uh-huh. Uh, but that that gives you a good uh, slab of uh, me of uh, trout. But here's all the bones right there. The only Hey, this is Steve. I'm here at our warehouse here in Provo, Utah, and uh, I wanted to cook my fish while we were out on the ice. But it didn't work out that way, so uh, my kids were starting to get sunburned and we were just having so much fun catching fish, I just couldn't get around to actually doing the cooking of the fish. So I decided I would bring the fish in and we would kick, cook it for lunch uh, here at work. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the firebox and get it going. Kind of do the urban setting here for the firebox. We put the ash pan in upside down to block off the holes. And I'm gonna use some wood pellets.
I'm going to put quite a few in because I'm going to try a different method of cooking this fish. Um, something I've never tried before. And it might have to cook kind of for a little bit longer. So, and then once again I'm going to use a quick stove fuel disc fire starter. I'm just going to use a fire stick here to get this opened up. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm just going to use about a third of it. Break it up. Push it down in just a little ways. Just a couple of spots here. Was I want to try using our new kit pot. But rather than cook the fish right down in the kit pot, I wanted to try to do it as a, a double boiler kind of setup. And I'll show you what I mean as I get, get a little further along. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put water in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on that, get that water boiling. Okay, it looks like we got our water boiling. So now what I was gonna do Let's go ahead and put that in upside down. Just melt that in there. This is going to fill it right up. Do a little lemon on there. and some salt and pepper. Ooh, that salt comes out fast. And I think I'm just gonna leave my butter in the middle and just let it kinda make it extra yummy. And then I'm gonna put my tin foil over the top. I think that's going to be kind of a way of poaching the trout. So let's see how that goes. We'll come back to you in just a few minutes. Okay, this has been running out here for a while. I think I want to go ahead and check it and see what's going on. Let's go ahead and pull off this foil. Oh wow, look at that. That's beautiful. I think it's almost, I think it's done. So that's just swimming in butter and lemon juice. Let me go ahead and open this up, make sure it's all done. Yeah, that's totally just flaking apart. That looks perfect. That looks beautiful. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you a little bit. All right, I'm gonna try some of this. See how it tastes. That's delicious. Super, super tender. I'm gonna dip this one down into the butter. Oh, wow, that's good. There's a nice piece. Dipping it down in the butter is yummy too. Wow, that's delicious. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Oh man, that was a good fish. We've all been kind of snacking on it out here for lunch. Good stuff. Poached trout. Good stuff, thanks again for watching.